Hello everybody, this is Josh Hendry with Mr. Hen's Art Skills, uh, and this is Random Quick Draw, the creative show that's randomly fast and vastly mm -hmm. random, and tonight you are joining me as I draw a clown repairing something with a mirror in a restaurant. <laughs> so this is episode 10 out of 12 uh, for this season, for season 2, and I just want to thank everybody who's able to tune in. Uh, Really good to have you here. All right, a clown repairing something. It does not have to be the mirror. The mirror is an object that is there. And the setting is a restaurant. Now, I've got to think for a little bit because a clown repairing something is, is one thing. Um, the mirror is another because I could almost envision a clown getting ready to go on stage and wanting to maybe sit at one of those mirrors with the light bulbs around it so they can get you know the makeup put on or something like that. But now we're in a restaurant, so that kind of changes the context of what the mirror might be for or where it might be. Um, so this is a little bit um, interesting. So I could think of a clown trying to repair a lot of different things. I thought maybe a um, plastic flower like that, you know, shoots out water. Um, or a tricycle, like a little tiny bike. Or a unicycle or something like that. Um, or I even thought one of those juggling clubs that looks like a bowling pin, uh, possibly repairing that. Um, the thing that's throwing me is the restaurant. <laughs> the setting has really got me. Um, it's really got me sort of perplexed here. So, and then also a clown repairing something probably looks different than a repairman repairing something. So I imagine a clown trying to repair something, uh, with a different kind of approach. Uh, and I don't know what that would be either. So this is really, really kind of interesting. And the clown doesn't have to be in the restaurant. He could be in the parking lot, I suppose, like if there were a grand opening for a restaurant or something like that. Um, hmm. But I want to use the mirror. I want to incorporate the mirror into what he's trying to repair. So he could be trying to repair his nose, <laughs> something like that, and needing a, a mirror to repair his nose or... Um, but why in a restaurant? I'm trying to think. Well, now there is Ronald McDonald. So McDonald's has a clown. Uh, he would qualify. I might need to take the Google machine for a spin here and check out old Ronald McDonald via the interwebs. Let's see. Ronald McDonald. McDonald. Not MacDonald, it's McDonald. And I put in Donald McDonald, so um, that's cool. Let's see. Ronald McDonald. Images. Okay. Yep, I think that might work. So, we've got him. What would he be repairing? Uh, man, oh, he could be repairing a drive through sign. Ha, huh. that could be something he would be repairing. Uh, let's see. So, hmm. Maybe he's going to be repairing the mirror at the restaurant. Maybe. Maybe there's a mirror in the lobby. Maybe the glass is broken. Okay, put the mirror in a frame. Okay. 
Maybe he is putting band-aids all over it because that's how a clown would probably fix a mirror, right? Just with band-aids, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. This is just really random. Living up to the name tonight. Definitely living up to the name tonight. Maybe there's some little band-aids too. So here's the clown, and I'm not doing Ronald McDonald because I want a unique clown. I don't want old Ronald. And I want a big red nose too. Or orange. Is he frowny? Or maybe he's happy because he is solving the problem. Oh, that's sweet. Look at that. Look at that happy smile. That's a happy clown. He's like, I figured it out, guys. All we need are some band-aids. That's all we needed. I'm assuming he's going to have some pretty big ears. Why not? He's a clown. And some pretty big hair that's going to start way up on his head. Now, I picture him kind of, I hope I get this pose right, because I picture him kind of crouching down a little bit. I don't know why the mirror is so low yet. Maybe it fell off the wall. Maybe that's what's going on. It's sitting along the wall like so. Well, my proportions are kind of whacked out here. Something like that. Something. I like the look of my clown, but uh, this is really kind of bizarre <laughs> as far as a mirror that he's repairing. So I think I'm going to put a first aid kit in his hand. Because he just seems to need the first aid kit for it to pull it all in together to make it make sense in a very clown like way. Um, do, 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 do. Do, do. All right, this is the first aid kit here. All right. But of course, goes right there. There, he's holding that. He's kind of kneeling down a little bit. I don't know. Oh yeah, he's gonna definitely have big pants that come up way too high get cinched up here and he's gonna have some suspenders for sure 
and some buttons to hold up the suspenders. Bigger buttons, people. Bigger buttons. Buttons. Okay. Yep, there we go. That's better. And we're going to just pull these up and over the shoulder. I think they're going to look better if they cruise that way. Give you a little bit more true to the contour of the back. And then we're going to have some this way. There's one. And then a little bit of a side view for that button. I think that's a little bit better, maybe, possibly. I don't know. I never know. It's just the best guess. That's all it is. We're just doing our best guess here. Hmm, I think I like some stripes on this guy. Yeah, maybe he'll have a vest on. That would be good. And he's got some stripes going out here to his sleeve. Sure, what could possibly go wrong? This is perfect. Now the shoes have got to be ridiculously big. They're going to have to bend right here to accommodate his foot. And that looks horrible, but that's okay for now. We'll take it. And this foot is going to go really big this way. Yepers, yepers. Yep. He's got really big feet there, feller. I don't like this foot. I don't like the perspective. I don't like... He's going to have his knee down like this. Yeah, like that. Now the other thing is, he could be repairing something else. And he could have a mirror in his back pocket. I like that. Because it doesn't make much sense for the mirror to be down here. Hmm. Alright, what's a clown going to be repairing at a restaurant? That's what we need to make this make sense. Oh, man. Hmm. I just don't know. Just don't know. What in the world we're doing here?
I don't know if that boot looks real. That shoe looks real. It looks a little bit. Man, I'm having trouble with that. That's okay. That part is okay. Oy, this part is not looking so great. Because in real life, his foot would be ending up right around in there. And then the rest is just the massive part of the shoe for the comic effect. he repairing maybe he is repairing a mirror oh I think I got it I think they had a food fight in the restaurant here's his slingshot in his back pocket I don't know of course a clown needs a slingshot maybe I think so. If he's a practical joker, he does. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Okay. That. That way. That. That way. Make the pocket bulge out to accommodate. There. Okay. All right. We got that and that. Sure, what could go wrong? Go like that. Maybe it loops down over to here. All right. And then there's the pouch for it. Maybe. All right, there's a slingshot in his back pocket. Uh, all right, we're gonna have splatters all over the wall because it was a food fight. Okay, he's got his first aid kit. Gotta make sure that the cross is on the first aid kit so it all makes sense. Gotta make sure the angles of the cross are proper and proportionate. Right. Can't have disproportionate cross members. <laughs> cross members. That's a play on words. Okay. There we go. Sure. Gotta be careful not to make it look like a book. I put some stylings on it that kind of made it have a book like appearance, and that's gonna change what it reads as <laughs> I did another play on words this uh, dad joke thing comes quite natural to me now reach way over here please forgive me for moving the drawing board and uh, yeah I did that so that I could grab a little sip of beverage uh, I'm going to try and move this over just a hair there we go that way I'm in frame better. I'm going to take a little sip of my beverage here. We're about night, 20 minutes in. So. At about 30 minutes in, I like to start inking if I can. Um, so hopefully we're getting close. Alright, 
you got a picture of a hot dog here uh, out of the bun with mustard all over it and kind of that ain't right draw it there like it fell down off the wall maybe that's half the bun maybe the other half is broken and crumbled sitting on the ground and this part is broken and crumbled sitting on the ground and there's some crumbs all around it and maybe the hot dog is sitting there on the ground that was way too orderly Everything looks like it's lined up perfectly. Maybe that's one of the hot dogs. Maybe we got grill lines on that hot dog to make it look more like a hot dog. There we go. Okay. Maybe we got a hamburger patty on the ground here. Maybe there's another hamburger patty on the ground here. And some lettuce. Of course that looks like lettuce, of course it does. And some tomatoes. Got to have some tomatoes and some pickles. Pickles and pickles. See, french fries need to be all over the ground, right? Spill drink. Mm -hmm. With all of its contents gushed out. Some ice cubes in it. Maybe that pickle is an ice cube now. That's fine. Pickles can be ice cubes. You know? Live your dream, man. That's what I say. But some people want to keep you as a pickle, but if you want to be an ice cube, man, just do it. Just go after it. Go after your dreams to be an ice cube. It's all about inspiration, man. Don't let them hold you back, you know. Okay. And this, of course, is the straw. And it's one of those crinkly straws, like a crinkle cut potato french fry thingamabob. There we go. Yep, there's... Why is everything laid out so perfectly? What is wrong with my sense of actuality? There, there's a french fry and another french fry. I think we need random french fries to help this feel way more random. I think we need an ice cream cone stuck on the wall here. Oh yeah. Yeah. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream, especially when it's in a food fight. Alright, there's an ice cream cone. We're gonna put another cup right here with spilled contents. Yep. All on the floor with ice cubes. We're just doing serious like cubes. That's what we're like. They're real. Like we're not doing stylized ice cubes. We're not doing like pebble ice. We're it's cubes, man. Cause man, we're practicing our basic objects, you know. Yeah, cubes. Good stuff. All right, soda, soda, fizzle. Straw, this time not at the perfect angle. Way to go. Getting better, getting better. French fry. French fry 
draping over other french fry. Yes. Hamburger. Halfway on a bun. Splatter. Splatter. be in the corner of the room this just came down so we'll put a crack in the wall I guess and maybe this wire that should be hanging here maybe there's a nail that's kind of it was hung up by but now it's kind of hanging out over here or something yeah it came up over the edge there and going around there and sure why not all right there it is now now we got it all right we got a clown uh let's see what do we need in the corner here of the of our awesome restaurant i would love to put a jukebox here i wonder if that's even possible can we can we fit in what looks like a jukebox oh no see what a jukebox looks like go to the google machine jukebox here we go let's go oh we can go shopping for a jukebox how about that yeah there's a nice one whoa these are pretty you know that's cool yeah beautiful all right so it's usually got like a shiny bottom with a couple of round cylinders on it so we'll put our round cylinders here on the edges like so. It's usually got an oval shape to it, an upside down oval shape, like so. Good. You know it. Got a little uh, crisscross diamond pattern. It's here for the diamond pattern. Gotta have that. Yes. Excellent. Uh, got little thingamabobbers here. I probably put your money in, I would guess, or maybe the money slot is over to the right or something we'll just say hey man put in a quarter yeah this is an old timey it's an old timey restaurant so just a quarter to play throwback retro i like it quarter goes in tunes come out hey babe mm -hmm. whoop, whoop. Melmo's here, everybody. Say hey, Mel. Hello, everybody. I'm drawing a clown repairing something with a mirror in a restaurant. Mm. And it's kind of a disaster, but that's Aww. okay. Not too bad, but a little bit bad. It's fine. I mean, they were having a food fight in the restaurant, so maybe that's why it's a disaster. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. I'm just going to do a brick wall because I felt like the wall looked so plain and I want it to not look so plain. I want it to look cool. Brick walls are cool. She's a brick wall. Just kidding. <laughs> My version. My version. Yeah. I don't think that that line is parallel. These lines are not parallel. That's going to present quite the problem perspectively wise. Perspectively wise. It's probably a new vocab word that I just invented there. Perspectively wise. Don't mess up perspectively wise with your drawings because it will not be good. This is pretty rough here.
man. Okay, well, I think we probably ought to start inking because we are definitely over 30 minutes. We're at 31 and a half minutes here, so. It's time to throw some ink down on the page and hope it turns out okay. Let's start with the ice cream cone. That's pretty interesting over here. Yep. All right. And it is dripping down and dripping down. Yep, and dripping down there. It's got a little bit of form still left because it was still frozen a little. And um, if you've watched the show before, you know that this is going to end up being a coloring page on the website, mrhen.com. So if you would like to see this one or any of the others I've done this season uh, as a coloring page, feel free to go on over to mrhen.com, download this guy for free or any of the others for free. And if you color it, you can, if you're proud of your coloring job, you can also upload your work on the site, and if we think that that would be a good looking image to put up in our gallery, we will put it up in the online gallery. And right now, as of this date of airing this, we don't have any who have uploaded their work yet. So uh, you could be the first, which would be really, really cool. And... Um, it does not have to be perfection, just something that you are proud of and that looks good and looks like you, uh, you did your best, you know. We don't want someone just to scribble all over it and, <laughs> and upload that and expect that it'll be on there. We want people that actually are, are coloring it and enjoying the process, uh, not mocking the process, so to speak. So that's kind of what we're looking for. Uh, I hope that makes sense. I, w I would normally just say, hey, I guarantee if you color it, it'll be up there. But I know that not everybody <laughs> will take that the right way. So kind of have to hedge my bets a little bit there and how I put that out there. But that, don't let that, if you're one of those people who be like, yeah, I think I'd really like to do that. Don't let that discourage you. Oh, no, maybe mine's not going to be good enough. That's not really why we say that. Um, it's not about whether it's good enough or not. It's really about... Uh, not offering something we can't deliver on every single time. So. All right. So I'm really concerned about those bricks and how they look uh, for the for the final go. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna solve that problem when I get to it. I know I'm not gonna use my brush pen because the brush pen varies its line weight so much that it would be really hard to make a brick pattern the way that I envision it in my head so I will probably use the micron for that but I'm also not very happy with how the bricks look right now so I may scrap that idea altogether when I get to inking I, I don't know what I'm going to do yet so all right little french fries man this this floor is a mess now that they had the food fight gosh just 15 minutes ago the floor was so pristine and clean and that's an absolute mess It's also supposed to be a bun. They're leaning kind of up against the wall a little bit. So hopefully that looks okay. I don't know if that's making sense there, but hopefully we can work around it and make it look okay.
feel like there has to be like little scattered debris all over from getting thrown and breaking apart and bits of sauce, mustard, and ketchup and things just kind of splattering all over. Uh, I kind of feel like that's important to make it look realistic. It's supposed to be a tomato. Maybe it looks like a tomato. It's a piece of lettuce, although if they're having a food fight, I don't know if this is... I don't know. I don't picture... Uh, I don't picture that always being part of the food fight. <laughs> lettuce. Watch out for the flying lettuce. I always get you. I really enjoy uh, the inking process now. I used to find it kind of nerve-wracking because it was so permanent. Um, just the idea that you were laying down this black ink that couldn't be erased it just really bothered me. I think my level of perfection, perfectionistic instinct would just paralyze me um, from even trying. And now, with the pencil lines underneath it, even if I don't trace it perfectly, I still really just enjoy kind of the, I don't know if I would say the finality of it, but the just, it's kind of cool to go off of the wireframe and accept that it's not going to look exactly the same and it's going to have a new quality to it that's, that is permanent. And actually liking that. I don't know at what point that really changed, but I just find this a lot of fun to to ink these drawings. Plus, I think the other thing is I know that it's going to be going into a coloring page, and I like just the thought of how these shapes and what kind of colors people will put to them, you know. It's like, I mean, I know kind of the, the like the hot dog and the bun and the french fries and the ketchup and the ice cream and all of those things sort of lend themselves to cool, bright colors, or not cool, but bright colors that 
I think, you know, play well together, look really cool together. And so I'm automatically, as I'm drawing this, thinking this will be a very colorful piece. Like when I thought about putting in the jukebox, I automatically thought, oh, there's a lot of rich colors in a jukebox. That's going to be cool. When it's a, cr a clown, obviously they're clothing is really colorful their hair is usually colorful the big red nose or orange nose or whatever color you choose to do you know all of that just gives lots of opportunities um, and so I think that's part of the fun too like even as I draw the lines and draw the shapes I'm thinking oh I wonder if this shape's going to be filled with a red color or blue or green or You know, when I think about a brick wall, I think about brick red, that Tuscan red that's just uh, a deep, rich, almost brownish red. And uh, something about that color and against the white mortar or the gray mortar, you know, it's just got a, a definite feel to it that's just really, really cool. Uh, well, I love color. I love how colors work together and how just in an instant seeing a, a couple of colors can spark a memory or an idea. Um, it's really cool. Probably got my hand anatomy wrong there. Uh, Kind of what I do. a little bit rounder this go round. Put a little bit of texture there on the edge just to give it a little bit of shape. Man, I'll tell you what, if you can if you can break free a little bit with an ink pen, if you can just let yourself go, like around the hair, all that, you get that nice thick and thin transition. I mean that's the beauty of this pen. That's the beauty I have yet to tap into on a consistent basis. <laughs> so it just takes a lot of practice, you know. Just getting some reps. I probably need to go online and get a little bit of help too. To, really maximize all my time, make sure that I'm making good use of my time when I'm using this pen and getting the most out of it. But there are just times where it really comes together using it and just, it's just very challenging to let go.
so oh that's pretty good let's go ahead and do the band-aids Okay, now it's time to take the little pin. Well, we got two little pins. We got um, a black liner that's kind of big. I don't know if you can see what that is. It's kind of hard to see. Can you see that? Ooh, yeah, it doesn't so autofocus. And then we got a point three. So I think I'll start with the polka dots here on my clown's trousers. Let's go ahead and do that with a Micron 3. Actually, I don't think these are Microns, are they? No, this is a Prisma color. I'm so accustomed to using the Microns. I like them. I like the Prisma colors. They, they work very well. You know, I love their colored pencils. Really love their colored pencils. I've loved them for years and years and years. Uh, and I've used the Microns for years and years and years. Um, and I like them a lot too. So. I'm trying not to drag my hand through the ink, but I know that it's happening. I can see it on my hand, and I'm hoping it doesn't smear anything on the page. Let's see, how are we doing? Polka dotties. Somebody is going to color these pants super cool. I believe. Do another one right there. Yep. All right. Let's get the cross on our first aid kit here. You know, it's funny, every episode that I've done, I've had like this brief moment of <laughs> panic <laughs> where I'm like, either it, and uh, this episode I've had two of them that I can really easily define. One was when I was trying to think about what it was all going to be and nothing was coming to mind and I thought, man, we're spending a lot of time on this, um, you know, just trying to come up with a concept and um, I got a little bit panicked on that one and then uh, I always feel after I start that it's not gonna turn out <laughs> I don't know why I'm just like this is not this is not looking right it's not working and what I do when I'm panicking like that is I'm like the other episodes all turned out okay <laughs> that's what I that's what I immediately go to is like yep, the other episodes are fine you know, it may not be perfect. It may not be uh, as good as the other episodes, but that's okay. Um, and I tell you, I am really not happy with that brick. Um, I'm going to work a little bit more on this uh, jukebox back here. And I'm going to think about what I want to do with this brick because I'm not sure I'm going to keep it. I don't like having lines fight like that, like where this one and slingshot and this design element on the uh, jukebox, I don't like how they're just barely touching each other. Uh, it creates a point of tension uh, that I'm not a big fan of, but it wasn't much to do on that one. Sort of always there and just had to go with it.
I'm gonna color this in black to cover up my sloppy lines. I can handle a little bit of black. I don't like to fill in too much black. Um, and that may change uh, moving forward because I know that comic book artists are amazing illustrators and they use black. It's almost like a 50-50 depending on what's going on in the scene. Uh, I'm just not there yet. I don't think I have that confidence yet. Uh, maybe one day I will be very confident using uh, using the shadows as well as the lights. This technique that I'm doing right here is one that I teach my students when we're drawing on a grid. One of the things we draw is an ice cream, a uh, couple of ice creams uh, with cones on them, and they have this diamond pattern on there that is kind of hollow, for lack of a better way to put it, almost like a chain link fence. Uh, and we just draw with a single line in pencil, and then we come back in ink. You just draw on either side of the pencil lines to give it some width and I find that that's a really uh, good way to keep the accuracy of the diamond pattern but not have to draw it two times and feel like you're spending a lot of time on a very intricate uh, thing. You can get overwhelmed very easily when you start to do this because of how much little detail is there, but if you just do it in pencil first and ink on the outside of the pencil, that's just a, to me, it's a good solution. It works for me. And I hope that it can help you if that's something you've ever had to do. All right, this is the quarter symbol. Put it in the slot, man. If you want some tunes, do it. Do it now. Arnold Schwarzenegger impression there. That was some next level impression stuff right there. All right. That's looking cool. All right, we need some stripies on this cup. Good, that's close, that's good. Ooh, we're getting low on time. All right, we're gonna do a compromise on these bricks, I think. We're gonna kind of draw it here and there, but not everywhere, so to speak. Sometimes you can get away with just drawing a portion of the wall and brick to give the suggestion that that's what it is. And maybe that's going to be enough, you know, to let people read it as a brick wall. And then you don't have to get too overly invested in, ooh, 
I skipped my brake pattern there. That's interesting. Huh. I didn't realize I had done that wrong. But I did. That's all right, though. And I'm going to just be erasing these pencil lines in a little bit, uh, scanning this in, and uploading it to the website. I will also be doing a time-lapsed version of this uh, that lasts about two minutes long. So I think that that's kind of an easy way to just view it very quickly, see the process without having to spend too much time or listen to me ramble on about uh, pretty much uh, next to nothing. Maybe occasionally I'll put a, a tip in there. Most of the time I'm just talking about whatever's coming to mind. So, yep, I definitely want the pinstripes on here too. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in here. There we go. Hey, I'm, I'm somewhat happy, okay, with this one. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Random Quick Draw. Again, this is episode 10 out of 12 for season 2. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, as always, keep drawing.